Hey guys, how's it going? Ooh, it Wednesday. New experimental snapshots has landed. Oh my god. <laughs> I've seen I've seen little little bits and bobs here and there, you know. I, di I didn't spoil myself too much, but my god, dude, it looks awesome, chat. It looks so good. So let me get into it. So, new world generation in Java available for testing. This this dude, look at this. <sighs> That's just a glimpse, dude. With Caves and Cliffs Part One released, we're currently hard at work and delivering the second uh, chapter in Caves and Cliffs Part Two. We're not only updating the caves and adding new mountains, we're also changing the overall terrain generation to make it all fit together. So they're doing a full overhaul of terrain generation. As these features will bring pretty big changes, we would love your feedback. <laughs> Here we go. Changes to compared to Caves and Cliffs Part 1. So what we're in what right now is Caves and Cliffs Part 1, 1 1.17. This will start to be the new snapshots that we look at. New world height and depth. Already knew about that. It's huge. New mountain biomes. Lofty peaks. Snow-capped peaks, grove meadow, and snowy slopes. New cave biomes generate naturally underground and inside of mountains. So what they're saying is we could find lush caves and dripstone caves in a mountain, dude. A lush cave could be in that. <sighs> Monsters will only spawn in complete darkness. This is huge. I cannot tell you how many times... I have been looking at a cave or an area I've built and said, hmm, that's probably going to spawn mobs, especially in hardcore. Now, those areas that looked like things could spawn, they'll be fine. It has to be light level zero. This is huge for builds. You can create like mood lighting. You can make a build now that doesn't have to have half slabs or carpet or glass to spawn proof the area. It will look like dark and moody and kids, dude. And what's huge about this as well, what's a very, very, very big deal about this, and I think this is why they're doing it. Remember the main problem I said with the new large caves was going to be creepers falling, falling on your head and just like overall chaos every time you went underground? It's not going to be as bad because we've got the lichen, which is like the, the vine that gives off light. That's going to protect so many areas and caves. The lush caves have natural light as well from the glow berries. They're going to be less dangerous. Lava pools are going to be safe havens, complete opposite to what you would expect a lava pool to be. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Super, super looking forward to this. This is going to be sick. So yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. Let's play the video game. The deepest of the dark. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Tall boy. Oh, it's a flower forest. How high are we right now? 150. Ooh. Pretty cool. Whoa. Just a random hole. Whoa. Look at that. Wait. Oh, chat. I'm going to be having so much fun flying through this stuff. Cool. <laughs> Yo, I can see, I can already see the new snow. Let me see. Is this naturally spawning? Oh. <sighs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, you could just. Can I get, can I get out, please? Jesus. Uh, right. Remind me, chat, not to fly into uh the side of a mountain even if just for funsies because you're just gone you're gone you're dead <laughs> oh i'm actually trapped <sighs> okay all right duly noted oh yo <gasps> <Whoa! laughs> I'm, I'm gonna lose it i'm Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Um, where are we right now? We're at minus 47. We are almost at the very bottom of the world. Holy shit. And look, there's not like shit tons of mobs. 
it's kind of chill and this is on hardcore this not hardcore this is on hard mode so there's gonna be like maximum amount of spawns oh Dead end. All right. <laughs> light level. What's the light level? Zero. Zero right here. One. Nothing can spawn on this block. Nothing can spawn here. That is insane to me. That is actually insane to me. All right, you know what? Let's do this. I want to actually, like, witness it as it's meant to look without night vision potions. Dude, that was nuts. That cave went on for so long and took us to the bottom of the world. I want to find... Um... <laughs> Never mind. There it is. There it is. There it is. All right, let's have a little wander around and see what spawns. Here, spider, skeleton. Yeah, this would have been an absolute mess. This would have been a complete mess in 1.17 lighting. Stuff would have spawned here. Oh, dude, it's like mixed in with the, the abandoned mine shaft as well. So cool. <laughs> so pretty. I see some cursed stuff. I see a cursed vine. Oh, diamond. <laughs> gold, gold, golden apple. Yeah. All right. Well, glowberries, they're still cool, I guess. Oh, oh my God. Imagine finding this naturally. Cool, dude. I am going to find us. Wait, hold on. I'm getting distracted. Wait, wait. Look at that. It's like its own Terra Swoop Force map. I can just fly down it. <laughs> I can just fly down it. Oh my god. You know what really excites me about this? About the new lighting thing? New build ideas I have are going to be way more safer. Whoa. Badlands mixed with whatever the fuck. There's a sub. What the fuck is this? What is this? Jungle. Wooded Badlands Plateau. Forest. Savannah. And then right at the top, Lofty Peaks. Holy shit. <laughs> Look at how huge this is, dude. That's, that's... This is making Elytra travel way more exciting. This is making, like, looking for new chunks and new areas with Elytra 10 out of 10. Because you're going to be flying through all of this and around it. Oh, I saw a diamond. It's, it's like you never have to dig down anymore. You just fly down. It's it's completely changed everything, dude. Chat, it's completely changed the meta. If you have Elytra, fly down to the bottom of the world. Who fucking mines anymore, dude? Yo! It's like, it's, it's literally like once you have Elytra or okay, I guess if you're brave enough. Oh, one thing you could do. One thing you could do is water bucket. Wait for the water to spread all the way down and then boat your way down. So before Elytra, if you want to get diamonds fast, all you need is a water bucket and a boat and just work your way down. This will be like level zero. Yeah, absolutely. So a big thing that they've talked about. Uh, the dev team specifically, is that they want you to be able to see if something can spawn. So you know how, like, normally you'd have to be like, ah, that kind of looks a little bit dark. Let's double check. Is it seven? 
Is it light level 7? Oh, no, it's 8. Okay. It should be okay. Now, now, you can, like, clearly tell what will spawn and what will not. It's going to make farms a little bit different. For example, my creeper farm, there's, like, light leaking into it from the bottom. So the spawns will not happen on, like, the first layer and a half, I think. But there is a countermeasure to this. They have already added in something which completely blocks all light. Tinted glass. So I think, remember what I said? I was like, yeah, I think a lot of people are going to use tinted glass just so you can see in the mob farm. No, dude, it's, it's going to be like essential now. It's going to be so much more essential. For any mob farm that you have now, you have to have zero light. It has to be light level zero. So that it's just, it's just made tinted glass way more important. This is by far my favorite thing. Just flying through the caves. We got down to, like, the bottom of the world so fast. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get lost. <laughs> get ready to see me get lost on the ground, chat. It's going to happen a lot. Every stream, almost. If I go cave mining, if I go diving in the caves, man's is getting fucking lost on the reg. It's really cool. It's really cool, but I'm not going to know where I am any any time. I'm just going to be lost all day. Okay. I want to slash locate biome. Meadow? Should we go to the meadow? Or lofty peaks? Are we thinking lofty peaks or meadow? I want to see what meadow looks like, honestly. Yeah. Doesn't seem like we're that high up on, on meadow. Is it meant to be like a flower forest? Oh, it's cute. Lofty. Lofty peaks. Let's try this one. Whoa, dude. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. I'm going down there, chat. Hold on. Let me uh let me reduce this just a little bit. Holy shit. I think the play is looking for the oof, looking for the huge mountains. That was that is huge. That is ridiculous. Look at this, man. Look at that. <laughs> I'm never gonna get tired of this. Man, it goes all the way to the top. <laughs> it's like spaghetti caves just all the way up here. And then you've just got these huge openings. Some things never change, chat. Some things never change. Some some things aren't broke, so don't fix it. <laughs> Surrounded by all of this beautiful shit. Box dungeon. <laughs> Maybe they should update those, but dude, it's so funny to just see it like that. It just looks so goofy. Just bonk. Finding these little spots and flying down them is going to be like my favorite thing. See all the glowy boys there, Jesus. Oh my god, dude. It looks so eerie. Look at that. I'm so glad they're taking the time on this chat. I'm so glad. I would have I would have hated for this to be rushed. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Dude, is that's That's sea level. You climb up this to fight this. I was honestly kind of worried that the giant mountains were going to have, like, nothing in them. They were just going to be, like, solid. And maybe a couple of little sprinkled caves here and there. But this shit. 
This is nutty. The entire mountain has like huge hollow fucking sections and multiple entrances to them. That's so cool. And like it leads you all the way down, all the way down at the water caves, all the way down to the deep slates. Where all the majority of the diamond is. It invites you in. It literally invites you into the deep dark. This is why the deep dark is so much more scarier. The more I think about it, chat. The more I think about it, it's so easy to just fly down there and just wind up right next to a warden. As soon as they add it in, people are going to get distracted. People are going to get distracted and just fly all the way down to the bottom of the world. Like I've been doing multiple times throughout this stream. And then come across death. They're going to come across the warden. The guardian of the underworld practically. Holy shit. And again, we're greeted by a gigantic cave connected to a mountain. Oh! <laughs> Look at the fucking ice sticking out of the roof! Jesus! And we're just down at the bottom of the world again. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Lava Lake. It's still, yep. We're still under the snowy tundra, but this is just the biggest large lava lake I've ever seen. And that's it. That's, that's the bottom of the world right there. That's fucking cool. That's like an end of the world location, that shit. That's like legit an end of the world fucking portal to hell. Yeah, <laughs> someone just said it. Pit to hell. All right. Any last areas to fly to yet, chat? Oh, there's some diamond. We could go to the mushroom if you want. They have said that the mushroom um, biomes or like other biomes can mesh with other shit. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Are you thinking that the mushroom biome can mesh with like a fucking mountain? Normal. I think because they're very secluded. Um, oh, we got some scuffery. They're not going to be heavily affected by the new terrain generation. There'll be cuts in them to go underground, sure, but like nothing mixed with a a mountain. I don't think. Should we find a woodland mansion? Now, now I'm convinced. Now I'm convinced we should just look for a woodland mansion, just to see how scuffed it is. Um. <laughs> up we go right okay for a second there i thought it spawned predominantly under fucking ground where's the dark oak forest I... these fuckers are meant to spawn in the dark oak forest hello oh piss off no way no fucking way does this biome just bleed ever so gently into this part you are fucking kidding me Birch forest, birch forest, 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 forest. It doesn't. <laughs> this spawning here caused that to spawn. Holy fucking shit. I guess the game just checked like, oh yeah, there's um, there's a, there's a dark oak here. <laughs> just. <laughs> fuck it. Mansion. Wait, I, I saw, I saw, um. Yeah, there it is. I saw this cute little tree. So the azalea trees are meant to be like a clear indication of a lush cave. Is that is that in this yet? Oh, sort of. Yeah. You can like follow this down all the way around here. Are you? Are you? Are you? Um, <laughs> right, this is, this is, this is main character energy now, chat. This is ridiculous. How do I keep finding these things by accident? Oh, glowy boys. <laughs> it's always a, t a delight to see them. It's always a delight, chat. What the fuck? What? Multiple layers. This is gonna make this is gonna make me 
is going to give me so much serotonin chat. That's all I need. That's all I wanted. <laughs> Natural waterfalls. Just boop, boop, boop. I broke, what, six blocks? Natural little waterfall. So cute. I feel like we've done most of everything, but dude, I'm happy just flying around. Is that weird? I'm having so much fun. <laughs> oh, this place is noticeably more scuffed with mobs. Oh, it's very dark down here. Just like, just the little like openings just take you to a completely different world. It's fucking sick. All right, now we're back to kind of more normal terrain. Just with random ravines inviting us to a new area. <laughs> that okay that is the fucking largest drop that goes straight down that we've seen we can see the fucking sky what are we on it's the bottom of the fucking world oh this this is just a bad time for this abandoned mine shaft though this is <laughs> not a great spawn oh okay Dude, this, these are so common. <gasps> Our inexperienced players just going to get fucking melted by the game at this point. I'm starting to see something, chat. I'm starting to notice something. Just imagine imagine just like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Not paying too much attention. Oh! <laughs> I mean, there's diamond. Straight the fuck down. <laughs> Straight the fuck down. It's not even funny. It's like twice as deep as a normal ravine. If not four times as deep. If it goes all the way down to deep slate. This is instant death. We could try another mushroom bam. You're right. The mushroom, um, the mushroom field is pretty much like separated from most other land. And rarely mesh into other things. But we could always have a look again. Hold the fucking phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ah, yes. I know of the mushroom fields. Yes. Yes. Um, ships just sitting, sitting on top of them. Uh, ruined fucking ocean built. What the fuck, dude? This is meant to be... <laughs> this is meant to be a fucking mushroom field. And this is deep ocean. This is deep ocean, dude. No wonder it spawned a fucking shipwreck. The game was like, that's absolutely water. Yep, yep. Put a shipwreck on it. Fuck it. <laughs> that is the weirdest screenshot I've taken all year. Experimental chat. Experimental. Holy fuck. No kidding. I finally got some constructive feedback. More of this. It's funny. Please. <laughs> Aha! Success! Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Perfect. Ah, that's exactly what I thought a mushroom field looked like. I've reminded, I am reminded of the beautiful mushroom field. Are you fucking kidding me, dude? <laughs> look, at, look at that. Imagine looking around for a mushroom biome in a world and this is what you find. Global warming. <laughs> Chat. Prevent uh, global warming. Keep your mushroom fields ripe and uh, above sea level. The icebergs are melting. Stop using plastic. No paper. Potentially paperless if you can. 
Digitals, Pog. All right, I think I think I'm done. I'm <laughs> I think I'm done with the snapshots. <laughs>